Good evening. Welcome to the United Nations to mark with us the International Day of Happiness. Just a few house rules in addition to security tips, tips before we begin. Uh, you're, please use your cell phones. You can tweet, use social media, you can dance, but not on the tables. My name is Maher Nasser. I'm the director of the Outreach Division in the Department of Public Information, and we're very pleased with this opportunity to partner with Pharrell Williams, the UN Foundation, and other to make today's event a success. The concept of the day was championed by the country of Bhutan at the United Nations to advocate for a new economic paradigm that recognizes the equal importance to human well-being of not just being just the economy and economic indicators, but also social and environmental conditions. In 2012, the United Nations General Assembly, in this very hall, adopted a resolution recognizing happiness and well-being as universal goals and aspirations in the lives of human beings and decided that 20th of March every year would be the International Day of Happiness. So, happy, happy day. The resolution invites governments and civil society to observe the day, and we are encouraged to see how many interests there is around the world on the topic of happiness. You will all remember an amazing, the amazing response around the world from people making their own videos to Pharrell's happy song last year. This was supporting the UN Foundation campaign to support humanitarian aid. This year, we're taking advantage of the day to reach out to the world and ask you to reflect on your own happiness, to share your happiness through music and show your solidarity with those facing tough challenges each day because of poverty, humanitarian crises, human rights abuses, and the effects of the environmental degradation and climate change. We're partnering with Mix Radio to do this. And what you heard from DJ Donna De Cruz, please give her a some applause. And applause. Was a sample from the world's happiest playlist, which was launched today. If you go to hashtag happiness sounds like and you'll find it. We're gathered there now to learn climate about climate change. We're using the opportunity here to having so many young people not only to be happy, but also to work for happiness of the planet too. Climate change, how much potential it has to make many millions of people very unhappy, and how important it is for governments, businesses, individuals to take climate action. We're grateful to the UN Foundation for their partnership and could not be happier that we have some very special guests with us today. I look forward to a conversation here tonight around climate and protecting our environment. But first, I would like to let you all know that there is with us tonight is the Secretary General's Envoy on Youth, Ahmad Lindawi. Please, Ahmad, stand up. <laughs> Who has proved himself over the last two and a half years as a real champion for youth issues, whether they are issues of policy or issues of working to ensure that youths have a voice inside the United Nations and outside the United Nations. 